stopping by. Uh, this is just a short video, just playing around, showing different things that I use breadboards for. Uh, the main circuit used in the following demonstration is the one on the screen here. It's uh, your basic A-stable multivibrator uh, in the orange. I added on in the yellow blocks. Uh, the diode and resistor there just squares up the signal some and then the red blocks are voltage dividers to taking uh, keep the voltage uh, more even on the scope. Okay now here's the exact circuit set up on a breadboard the same one that was in the schematic. Now let's watch the oscilloscope and watch it as I take and turn the voltage from 9 through 24 volts. See that it increases normally and also the frequency starts going up. There we are at 24 volts. Now, let's see what it looks like using different transistors. You notice the waveform looks a little bit different and the frequency is up. Now let's take and turn this transistor down from 24 volts. Down to 9 volts. Now you notice as this one goes down, the frequency goes up. Just the opposite of the other one. Now what transistor are we using? We're using a 6SN7 vacuum tube. Going between 9 and 24 volts with no problem. Now, since we're using a tube, let's up the voltage. Disconnect this power supply. And connect this one. That's the signal at 92 volts. And now we'll take and crank it up. There's 120. 150, 205 volts. Just to show, the, the main purpose of this was just an example to show that you can take in breadboard tubes on regular breadboards, 
just as easily as you can breadboard transistors. Um, you can take, I've, I've made amplifiers, I've made uh, rectifier setups or whatever, and they all work perfectly fine on the breadboard. Thanks for stopping by.